Alright. Zahn it is. Good day. Wait, what's going on? Why are we? It's weird. Trade the kill count thing? Yep. So now oh wait, no, it didn't trade it. I shall purge this land of the shadow. Hold on. Why do they both say zero? Uh oh. Huh. All right. Well, that is only per character then. Good day. Character bound. At least we didn't lose it. I shall purge this land of the shadow. Champion Fallen's out here. My goodness. It's not Boa's on? Let me get a bow. Takes a second, you know? Yeah, my player's eight. Shrine of repairing. All right. So javelin, we have recharge, sacrifice fortitude to restore mana. Reduces lightning res in exchange for mana every attack. Whoa. Lightning fury. Wow, you get that level six. Poison point. Charge Strike, Plague Jab, Thunder God's Wrath. Creates a hailstorm of deadly lightning that deals damage on impact over time. Interesting. Dodge all attacks while running, standing, or attacking. Okay, so that just covers everything. Crit Strike, Inner Sight, Slow Missile, Huntress Haste. Mood speed and attack speed reduces defense and attack rating. Wow. Interesting. Increases your attack rating, Pierce, Huntress Focus, greatly increases attack rating and damage, but reduces movement speed and attack speed. Okay, so you like max both of them and then they both work there. It crashed my game when I tried it, but people say they can go to it, so. Plus two Valkyries with max skill level. Plus one Valkyrie every plus three summon, extra summon stat. Yo! So we could do like a five Valkyrie build or something. Dope. That's sick. Magic arrow. Ooh, it steals mana as well. Oh, you can't use them together, darn. I'll get my bow in a second. 
Yeah, I could transfer the gem bag, I believe. No. Okay, uh, Cold Arrow. Thank you, Hammertail. Appreciate the Prime. Welcome back. Strafe. Okay. Exploding arrow, freezing arrow, multi-shot, guided arrow, hail of arrows. Deals cold damage and 50% weapon damage in a large targeted area. And curtain of fire. Shoots an arrow that creates a fire trail and unleashes a meteor strike on anything it contacts. What in the world? Prismatic arrow. Fire an arrow imbued with fire, lightning, and magic damage. Oh. Let's start with cold and go from there. Arrow, arrow. Shoots an arrow from your arrow. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, you can have lots of Valkyries. Yo, it's a multi-shotted? Let's go! Multi arrow. Out of mana already? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's... we're going to have to get a lot of mana potions. I love it. That means exploding arrow is probably also multi shot, which would be insane. It's already so good. It's not multi shot? No. I like Stray for Prismatic Arrow. Get F tier belt. Low level gives more arrows. It gives more arrows? Interesting. Oh wow, you can get Prismatic Arrow right off the start. Does that also have a multi-shot on it? No. Strafe is OP. Alright, we can't get that for a little bit. We'll keep it in mind. <laughs> Knock back on the storage bag. That's actually really funny. Crash for you as well with it? Okay. There's no find item in Remodded. One monster left. I mean, it was too good, so. Good day. Greetings. Uh, 
Answer by and type anymore. Uh, I do not know why. Is it always only three arrows? Is that the maximum? Or does it go up slowly? Spell power to increase arrows. Oh, now I see what you mean about that belt. Hopefully level up soon, and then we'll all be good for that. Not do players one with this build. Or players eight, I mean. Players 8 with fire build. Good day. Good day. Let's try it. Let's see what we have. If there's anything that we can give over and wear. Some resistance stuff. Wait, why can I wear stealth? It's only level 5 required? What in the world? Got it, so strafe is uh, fire damage. Yeah, I might go give myself that other belt thing. Like really nice. Yeah, I should make harmony. Help me. Thank you for all the guys and help for all these years. Aw, thanks for his nose. With the 420. There's a really good low level bow runner too, gives good IS. know uh, what it is.
crossbows are sped up now as well. That's nice. Yeah, this is like a thousand times better than the cold arrow. It's so sad, actually. To get a party member, you get 100 soul shards, which drop from the bosses. Then you take those and use them in the cube with a thingy, and then you get to get a token, and then that creates a guy. It's like I have now plus one soul of paladin. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I dropped out of streamer mode on it, so I have to go back and... Set it up again. Stream road enabled. There we go. Uh, and Dario, I find, drops them a lot. Personally. 2025 Annie? Jeez, let's go. Take the Bezos money. Thank you for the Bezos money. Put a point and penetrate. And more there. Yeah, the mana regen is really nice. This is true. So, let's look up the... What's the name of the bow? Neph Ith bow? Eth tier belt, tier or gloves. Okay, we can't make the gloves yet, but everything else. Let me find... Yeah, I know I could transfer it over, but... See what's coming. Wow, oh, nice. All right. Nothing better for COVID recovery than Mr. Llama stream. Oh, thank you. Good day. Neff is F tier. Hey, Llama, does this support any multiplayer? You won't be able to have that with anything. Sadly. Yes. Not until Blizzard changes how they function. Alright, Pestilence tonight has 25 piercing plus one spell power. You also said two open socket gloves, right? Charm zone. Praise. 
actually farm further. Try and get these. Thank you very much, Lord. How's the game launch going? Better and better? Nice. Okay, I'll move Madness over. And... Honestly, both of these we can move over. It was really fun. I actually really enjoyed it. Roll madness until it's plus three spell power. What's this one? Plus two spell power. Eh, close enough. Do you like Broken Promise better? Do you like Tear Ort? This has got Mana Prakel, IASED. This has got 20 IAS. And Knockback. Mana per kill is nice though. Let's go here. And tier. Good day. Was there a plus three spell power? There. Yeah, we're just gonna drain all our life off. Ooh, seven life six fire res. Loading arrow. Good day. Yeah, he, I, I can't quite use him yet, I don't think. I mean, we can take a look at what he have here. Okay, we can use Lorehelm. I've got Envy, 20 IS, Life and Mana Steel, minus Defense. That's for a little more physical. We can use this. Where's the other one of those? Staccatos and Mambas. There it is. Ah! That's like too good for starting out. That dual set. And Flightless Arrows, Piercing, IAS, Dexterity, Replenish Quantity. Cool. Good day. We are stacked. Easy. Twink start. Time to wreck some faces. We have a rune out there. Gorgeous. Quite powerful. This mod's not fully balanced yet or anything. It's in the works of all that, but it's very fun still. Yeah, there's only one tower level in this mod. It's 
It's a pretty good railgun. Just like easier than the barb. Well, we are stacked with a bunch of gear right off the bat. I mean, like. <laughs> a lot. Arrow's not endless. These ones have replenished quantities, so these ones will be endless. Hutch! Thank you! Otherwise, you have to repair them. freeze on later on. I want to try this hail. See how it does. Do you think D4 D vitamination would have been a success? I think it would have been a lot more successful. But there's still other things. It's really tough, because, like, yeah, you could just copy straight up the detitemization and be great with that piece. But even then, you're just copying it, and you need to have more going on, you know? I can't. It's how you implement it. And again, one of the biggest complaints, besides, obviously, the t terrible itemization of Diablo 4 is that the team took no risk. The game is so standard. Every system is like a system that you ask ChatGP to make. It just, GPT, it just like doesn't have soul. It doesn't have the part where you're like, wow, I see what they were going for with this. That was a crazy attempt to do X, Y, Z. That's, that stuff is missing. So they got to do yeah a lot a lot of its cookie cutter. It is an ARPG. It has a crafting system. It has a vendor system. It has you know, but none of those systems ins are inspiring. So it's like, you know, you pay $100 for that, or you could pay $10 for LUM RPG. Which, uh, I've heard from everybody that that's got it all. This is just what people have been saying. Lack of talent or management issue or whatever. I mean, I think it's a lot of issues. I, I don't think it boils down so simply to one thing. There'll be a few Easter eggs in there for sure. I think there's a lot of things going on. One, I think there's too many cooks. So you don't actually get a really cohesive design. The game feels like it isn't cohesive to me. Two, I think there's struggles with a, a grand vision from above. Three, I think it's a giant corporation making a game and 
Not everybody that's making it is passionate. Some people are just making it because that's their job, is to get paid to make a game. And whatever else along these pieces. I'm sure there are some people there that have great ideas. I'm sure there's some people there that have tried to build cool things, that have tried to say cool things, whatever, but... You know, you just kinda, you're gonna be all over a little bit with it, right? Let's try this, uh... Curtain of Fire. Yo, it drops meteors on them? No way. <laughs> this is so funny. God, what a spell. Yeah, straight up just carpet bombing. I can't. It's wild. So crazy. So, you know. That's where I think something like Lom RPG has an edge because one person is really designing it. There's a small team that will gather and discuss, but really you're, you know, you have a main vision and that's being built around and I think that's really, you know, Helping it. I can't. And everything is coming through me. So when somebody, you know, when our music guy creates some music. Every piece of music or sound that he makes, he sends to me. And then I say, Cha let's change this, let's do this, this doesn't have the vibe, blah, 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 blah. So that's, you know, I think a really helpful piece because yeah, I can just sit down and go through and make sure that the music and the art and the game and the systems and everything all match up together nicely. When's launch? I mean, we're we're all Working hard to get things moving along. Right now we're getting a lot of graphics over to it because something that is needed. That was troublesome for it. Um, yeah, turn that in. Yeah, you can blame me for the bad stuff too. Something that was needed, that was troublesome with it, was it's got functionality now in the back end but the ui front facing isn't quite like there yet and that actually makes it hard to spend time like testing and playing it because it just you don't you don't know exactly what's happening if you don't fully know what's happening you know so that's something that is uh, being worked on. 
so that there can actually be, you know, an inventory that looks all right and icons that look all right with it and whatever pieces there. Oh yeah, man, this. Can't wait. This carpet bombing is so fun. Does the cooldown on this spell ever go down? Or is it always three seconds unless I have cooldown reduction? This is such a cool spell he put he built in. There would be online monster D2. If somebody hacks it and Blizzard doesn't care, yes. Otherwise, no. No, you need to have own this game to play it. Pierce going. Looking for volunteers to hack the game. Essentially, yeah. Meteor shot in Maggot Lair should be dope. Should have a lot of fun with that. Oh, that explosion. Big Cowboys game tonight? I know. We gotta get back in it. I mean... Eagles lost to the Jets. And Niners lost to the Browns. So... You know... Just continuing to show the I can't. strength of every team in the NFL, no matter how bad they are. I can't. Any given Sunday. Always gotta show up to play, man. Con, thank you! Wow, Prime. Dang, well. Except your Panthers. Yeah, I mean, Panthers, Broncos, and Bears. They ain't doing anything, but other than that. Impossible. Broncos have a W on the board against the Bears. Somebody had to win. I mean, technically they could draw, but... Does it count? Does it really count? I'm not sure about that. Impossible. 
Terrible. Actually, just terrible. <laughs> I can't. I'll tell you, one of the most awkward times. Some of my friends are huge Broncos fans. And we're all Dallas fans, none of us really care about Broncos, but whatever. They had a Super Bowl party when it was Broncos and Seahawks. I think it was the Seahawks, right? Impossible. Where the Seahawks absolutely blew out the Broncos, like 40 to 6 or something. And man, just watching our friends get sadder and sadder <laughs> as it went on. Starting from the safety, the first play was a hike over the head for a safety. And then it just... I'm not sure, Ice. And then it just got worse from there. It was just like so funny, but also really sad to watch and how how like sad they were the entire game. Impossible. I mean, who wants to go out after that? Dude, I can't imagine being... I, I didn't go to a Super Bowl party for the 28-3 game. But I can't even imagine the depression of Falcons fans at one of those parties. How insufferable they had to be at halftime only to... We got our summon. And he's terrible, at least at high levels. I'm gonna summon him on this playthrough and see if he does all right. We went for Paladin. I thought surely the Paladin will be good. Oh yeah, Bonesy. Where are you at? If he's still in here. No summon Necro? Okay. He's here, just AFK, I guess. Working right now, what's up? I got the level one Paladin. He's terrible. He just like died instantly. A hundred soul shards for that? You know how hard it was to get a hundred soul shards? Not that hard, I mean, it took, you know, a couple hours, but. Maybe bring, you know, down, bring up the level of the lower levels of it. You can leave the high levels the same, but... That low level feels like, why am I even summoning this dude? Now again, maybe he'll be really good here. I don't even know how it... Okay. Alright, you know about it. As long as you know. <laughs> I'm not saying they have to be the most godly OP things ever, but I mean, you know. They're depressing.
Everybody said Holy Bolt is really good. What do you mean sucks? You're the first person I've heard to say that. Let there be light. No, it doesn't have a burn, it's just that it just is a... You put runes in it. Play D4 season two. When to come out? Tuesday? Tomorrow at noon. <sighs> I mean we could. Do you guys want me to play D4 tomorrow? That's the better question. I'm not much of a, a, a hate grinder with that sort of stuff. You know, there's like certain people that hate things and then they'll go and like, to prove a point, they'll spend $19,000 on Diablo Immortal to, to show hate on it or something. I'm like, look, it's bad, all right, let's just get over it. I can't. I can't. But a lot of people like hate watching things, so, you know, makes for good TV. Hate farming, good for viewers. That's true. Yeah, bro, this has to be so good in cows. Oh, dang. Okay, okay, there. I wouldn't go back. Let's see what we can get now. We can upgrade to... 9 all res, 20 fest run, or 20 IES. I kind of like the piercing, to be honest. A lot of charms with cooldown reduction we could run. Go here. Special arrows, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like my ex girlfriend. I've changed. Give me a chance. Uh huh. Steam release put the final nail in the coffin for you? Really? Why would that put the nail in the coffin? What's wrong with the Steam release? Like, I don't care. I don't, I don't think it matters to me whatsoever. I'm just curious. Good riddance, freak. 
Because Blizz knows that 90% of their players would rather have the game on Steam. So why is them giving something that people want bad? I'm I'm still confused there. Go farm man, Lufa, thank you. Oh, they just want to sell it again, you're saying? Gotcha. I mean, do people really care that much to have it on Steam over... Peanut? Like, if I didn't have it, I, I'd buy it there, but... Yeah, I mean, maybe that is their plan, though. We'll get... X amount of people that already bought the game to buy it again on Steam. No, D4 is going to Steam. Well, you can always use your Steam funds on Llama RPG. I've heard that's uh, super worth. What people have been telling me. I actually need to call the bank today. I gotta get some stuff set up for Llama Gaming Studio there. Get some official things in the works. Any update on it? It's coming along really nicely. Um, like I say, the, we're, we're kind of getting like UI right now is, is where we're at. A lot of the functionality exists now for like combat and all that stuff, but we need to make it look good enough so that when people go in to test it, they actually can like see what's happening, know what they're doing, have a good experience with it. Yeah, we made an LLC for it, so. Potions don't drop as often in Remodded. I can't. I can't. Just how he coded it. Llama game? Yeah. Impossible. I can't carry anymore. I have not played Chronicon. LC seems like the right move. Yeah. When I leak everybody's passwords, I need y'all to sue this gaming studio and not me. Clip for legal records. It's a joke. Or legal records. Was it not circle? It is circle. Need some details on this llama game. Alright, alright, alright. The details are as such. I am creating an RPG because I'm tired of all the games that have come out. Not all of them, there are still some cool ones, but I want to create a cool game that's just about having fun. And that's its main focus. Thus, Slime RPG is born. It is a turn-based RPG game where you play as a llama and have Diablo-esque style loot. Um, there'll be a whole fun, you know, whatever story journey through the different areas. It's gonna have PvP, which will be a big piece of it. There'll be fun puzzles. The, the hope is it'll have a lot of 
variety and a lot of things to do. If you want to collect things, you can collect things. If you want to go be a PvP person, you can do that. It's got a intricate crafting system and just a lot of intricate systems overall for um, for the game. This is a terrible, terrible map. Uh, pr different professions, all of that stuff. So you're really generally going to be choosing essentially the style that you're wanting to play. Do you really want to be a heavy crafter? Do you want to be someone who does tailoring a lot? Do you want to be someone who's, you know, a big fighter? Any and all of these things. The world is your oyster in Llama RPG. That's, uh, that's the pitch. Three percent to experience gained. I'll hold on to that for now. How are you doing, Mr. Llama? Is this mod worth the time? Yeah, I think Much so. Much less than three. You're amazing. Kind of sounds like Star Wars Galaxies. It has elements of a lot of my favorite games. So, Star Wars Galaxies, the crafting system, I kind of... I mean, my system's different, but it's got some interest from that crafting system, you know? Um... It's got influence from, obviously, Diablo with, like, the itemization in it. It's got influence just in a large variety of ways. Whatever games that I grew up and really loved, I take, you know, from Pokemon, it's got some influence. It's Etc. I hear that, Schmunk. Or, uh, Nerthy. I doubt it, Schmunk. For sure, Flightless. So, yeah, that's the, uh, general idea of it, though. Is it's just supposed to be a game that focuses on fun and uh, probably won't make a lot of money. We'll probably end up losing money overall. But. I've always wanted to make a make video game. And if it does well enough, then we can look at making an ARPG next. Which I think just has a little bit more Impossible. to it, you know. Gotta lose money to lose money, they say. So. What would this bring from the right buyer? That's uh, where we're at. When's it going live? Release date. Um, you know, when it's ready. I, I think 2024 is a reasonable time to get it out. 
I think it's a game that will continue to have more and more added to it over time. So that's my... Uh, Yeah, exactly, Jenna. That's my thoughts. If we can, if we can have, you know, by any, by some time in 2024, have the combat, have the zones, have your base story, have the, um, you know, si some of the systems in a basic PvP system, a basic crafting and profession system. I've got them all mapped out, you know, but just like having these systems in there. I think that's very reasonable. It's not going to be a live service game, but it will be a live service service game. I mean that in... I just want to keep, like, you know, building onto it. What do I have to do to farm them? Just need to collect soul shards from the bosses. But it's more just like, you know, okay, I'll add, like, a new world in. Maybe, you know, the next year, in 2025. So it'll kind of be some stuff like that. As opposed to, like, a new season every three months. You know, it's not going to be that stuff. It'll be more like, hey, we're doing an event for Halloween. You can go trick-or-treating, you know, at the boss's houses or something. Ooh, that's smart, Air Dog. So. Yeah, probably a little bit of adventure quest, uh, you know, in there. Again, I, I just built off what I've grown up with and all the things I loved. PV Pizza Weekly Challenge? What is that? I definitely want to have like weekly or whatever uh, PvP like tournaments and things. I think that would be really cool. Uh, winner gets pizza? Nice. Because I do think the game sets itself up well for stuff like that, you know? Especially if I can do stuff like create different arenas. So, okay, in this week's arena, you know, cold damage does only 60%, fire damage does 120%, blah, 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 blah. In the next week's arena, your chance to get stunned is tripled. And then, you know, whatever, just like things like that. So then it becomes fun pieces. I did not play Hades yet, but I've, I've heard it's amazing. Is multiplayer supported and remodded? Impossible. Uh, no. No, no D D2R mods are supported for... For multiplayer. I mean, it'd only be in, like, you know, in that tournament, right? Everybody signs up for the tournament. Bang, tournament goes. And then it becomes a whole, uh... That'd be really nice to know this, but highly doubted. The whole thing. Could have like a special trophy.
Straight fire arrows, yep. It's mod added that. Stairs, I think. It's annoying. Remember to hydrate, I know, especially because I'm like getting sick, my throat. Sore throat. I hate it. <clears throat> I can't. I hate it so much. Hmm. Okay. I can't. Throw the big COVID variant. Ugh, that's annoying. I don't even know where I would have got it. I can't. can't even go anywhere. I didn't even go to hockey till last night. Pretty sure it's just the weather, but I'll take a test just to be sure. Impossible. Ugh, neti pots are so gross. Impossible. Impossible. Meteor shot. This is like such a fun build. I like it. Trying to line stuff up for a big old meteor line. Yeah, it's like calling an airstrike in. Is there ice in Texas? Here and there. Whenever we get it, it just destroys our grid. I can. It's true. He ain't wrong. Absolutely wipes us out every time. I think it would be something important that would be dealt with. It's not. Yeah, we're trying out the Zon here. Again, I just want to play her in the cows, man. She's got to be an absolute cow mauler. Exactly.
Oh, it was like so hot. Yeah. All through September there. Impossible. Finally, it's starting to cool down. Yeah, I just did Andario runs. Okay, that's probably a bug that Bonesy needs to fix. But you could always go to another character and do it, probably, then. Because the kills are independent of the character. It's one mod. Hmm. Ah, right there. I know, right? If only. And the thing is, like, this is pretty good, but are you going to sit here and tell me that this is better than Wake of Fire, or this is better than Fissure? No. Ah, oh, thanks, Idilo. So it's not like he's broken it so much there. I think he could tune down the fire arrow, like the strafe arrow, a little bit. It's maybe a little too good for P8 just dominating. But I think also, you know, you tune down Fissure and that stuff in that case as well, right? Okay, I thought that was gonna be it, but it's not there. I can't. Uh, up there. Yeah, interesting. All right, we can put Spirit Shroud on. Greetings. I like it. Turn on the upgrade temporarily. Besides a bunch of charms if we wanted. Swap meteors for hydras. I mean, I think the meteor is actually a really fun piece of it because it's like you shoot and call down an airstrike and it's it fits well with a lot of, you know, D2 skill stuff, which is you kind of have to be positional about it. Okay, no, that just goes there. Where the heck... Am I missing some wild connection up here? I'm not Impossible. sure on it, Fairy. Impossible. Impossible. Does this cut? No. Impossible. What am I missing, you guys? I don't know if I'm doing D4 or Season 2. Oh, 
Oh my god, it's right here. I ran right past it. I'm so stupid. Oh my god. Sometimes, man. Uh, I don't know, Josh. Don't do that. This dagger will separate the faithful from the fallen. The math mistake was not a mistake. What, you think they did it for attention? I think it was just a mistake. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit rough, Josh. <laughs> Will it be hard to play normal detour after this? I mean, I've gone and played things like Media and XL and all sorts of crazy stuff, and then I come back and have, you know, plenty of fun just playing D2R again. So, you know, I love, like, mods and all of that, but D2R is just a great game. Plain and simple. <laughs> Interesting theory. Took me a whole evening to get nine keys. You gotta be killing killing the bosses faster. Got a key farm faster than that. So get good. I can't. To put it lightly. Jade figuring gonna stay in inventory till nightmare. I did it last time on my barb. So probably. It's hard to remember. Your reminder is the only time I remember to actually had it. I feel like you could actually run a really fun, like, uh, Curtain of Fire plus Freeze build. So you freeze everything in a line and then you Curtain of Fire it all. That seems really fun. Two SOJs before Shaco Rossi. Oh, SOJ, SOJ, you know. Infinite arrows. I've got replenish arrows on my arrows here, so that's why.
impossible. I have a Zon Torch. I mean, I'm not high enough level to use it, but we did. We have one of every torch except Assassin. Ooh, unique stag bow. Let's see it. It is garbage. 11 IS 6070 D. It's a trashy bow. Uh oh. Not even worth the core. Yeah, actually, I should have cored it. Oh well. end up beating the new bosses on my barb. Um, we killed Enderaku. I didn't run into Ijwal or Gurkha or Queen. I, I didn't see these guys yet. They might just be on the later levels, I guess. So, no, we still have plenty to go kill. Yeah, their dungeon design kills me. Turning D4 into a hallway simulator. It already was hallway enough, but now it's even more so. Yeah, they're probably down in the torment levels. Yeah, I did. It was wild. Good to see you. Oh, I can't wear this because I need 38 strength. That's what's going on. It's probably fine for now, I guess. Yeah, there's some cool art. I can't. Detour modding is only for offline mode. Uh, yes. Offline only. Uh, 
How's PD2 online? It's fun. Very fun. Impossible. Fisto. My brothers have escaped you. Strong boy. I guess he is player's eight right now. Alright, let's see it. Angelic. I mean, the... The tough part with Diablo 4, and honestly also kind of with PoE and just a lot of modern ARPGs, is they've built these games with so much complex theory crafting and whatever, that it's... You can't... Like, nobody knows what's right, and changing one little thing some one place will like wreck so many things in many places it's one of my biggest complaints about modern arpg game design and d4 is a, just a really good showcase of it where it's failing out because one small change can mean somebody doing the difference from a million damage to a hundred million damage then another change and that person's doing five billion damage and then you're trying to balance the this because they've got all these multiplicative things that are occurring with their buckets of damage and all of that and now you're trying to have resistances factor in on the and it just it just gets so messy it doesn't have a a, a nice clear simple design that is correct, Binary. So that's something I, I dislike in a lot of games. And I say a lot of, like, the modern games, because how many of the modern games do you... can? I mean, it's like, you don't, you don't even think about making a build. You just wait for a guide to tell you how to build it because it's so complicated. You're like, okay, so this has percent fire damage, this has percent to melee, and this on this when this occurs. This ha It's just like so much clutter and so much junk everywhere and you need a whole math degree and somebody to sit down for hours and hours to figure it out. And it's like, look at, look at this right here. This is remodded. And I literally just am like, okay, I'm just like going in because the skills and the stuff just makes sense. It's got new skills, it's got changes to damage and all the stuff, so even my original knowledge in D2 isn't exact on it. But it doesn't matter because it's not overly complex. It's just stuff is simple and makes sense. You know what you're doing along the way, so it makes you feel like you can at least build something decent. And it's good enough. Maybe it's slightly off from perfect, but that's fine. Whereas in, you know, D4, if you're slightly off from perfect, you could be dealing one a hundredth the damage. Because you're missing that one item that gives you a hundred X damage on it. So... 
I just... Too many of the games nowadays have way too much of that. So I'm hoping Lama RPG simplifies a lot of that down as well. Here you go. This does some fire damage. This is the fire resist against that. You'll resist this percentage. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, now again, you definitely can still, like, brick a character. You definitely can still, you know, try stuff out, and oh, it's not quite right. And there's still, like, learning pieces and stuff to go along with it. But again, the difference between me making this character work and not work is. It's not, I missed a single skill, and that's the difference. Right. I feel like I just want to play Diablo game. Diablo 1, Diablo 2. I don't feel like it always needs a guide. I do think guides can be helpful, especially if you're trying to, like, play through this game on hell and you don't know how and all that, because there's a lot of hard stuff. There's a lot of difficult things in Diablo 2, and if... You know, you want to get through it and not have to do, you know, all that thinking on how do I kill this immune, how do I deal with whatever. Sure, I can understand it. Yeah, exactly, Zalard. Diablo 4 is trying to make it super complex, but also, like, play itself. It's just confusing. Sometimes the vendor doesn't sell potions anymore. Yeah, I had that happen. That's a bug, I think. Which one was yours? Mine was Act 4. Uh, you'll need to go do the quest in Act 5 to save the barbs to be able to get a barb merce there. Act 3? Probably need to go and do some quest piece as well, to be honest. Perfect, Mr. Tannis. Of the explosions. Nice to have time again to catch your stream. Been a while, less than three. D and Demi, thank you very much for four months, and thank you the Sochi from before. Mwah! This is to you both. Depends, Proto. I think a problem is so many game ARPGs, especially the modern ones now, focus on end game that they don't even have a good early game. They literally put in skip campaign buttons now. Don't even play through the game anymore, you know? Oh yeah, we gotta go to Izzy, that's right. It's wild. Like, 
Like, I'm leveling this character up. I'm playing through the campaign for my 10,000th time, and I'm having a great time. Because it was built well. <laughs> oh my god, the waiting in, in that game was so bad. Uh, go to your cube, right click, and then click on cube recipes down the bottom left, and you can see them all. We should probably take a look at more of the bow frameworks. Though I should be actually able to use the Kuko Shikaku pretty soon, I think. Got rack and mesh from ancient. It's nice. Definitely time for us to upgrade. Extended taps not being available? I haven't heard that issue. Oh yeah, it's player's eight. I was like, oh my god, why is this all so tanky? I know bows are rough. That makes sense. I don't think he drops much loot, Donald. Maybe he has a small chance to drop something really good. to find hirons with this mob? Uh, I don't think they change the odds like that, but it's easier to get it in some other ways that you can do it. With like the cube money potion stuff. Oh, really, Zallard? Interesting. Whoa. Yeah, the bag is, like, so nice. You cannot get uniques out of the bag. You can use the cores that you put of uniques to do some other things. Blood contracts are coming back in the next patch and that'll be where you can do some stuff with it. Impossible. 
I want to try a shield throw. That looks really fun to me. Yeah, essentially you'll do like kind of gambling uniques with the cores that you store. It is not BJT. Sorry to say. ETA of the next patch. Mm, Bonesy would be your guy there to get that info. Favorite D2 mod? It's hard to say. I like PD2 and Media XL a lot. I think both of those are really great. I'm liking this a lot. I think this one still has a lot of room to grow. Oh my god, Elrin. It's still like, it's still young, you know? You can you can feel all the, the places and things that need more, more work done. I transfer my growl to Lamuggy? Yeah, I think I will. I can't. Impossible. I can't. So much stuff to play, so little time, you know. Pre-order Llama RPG will I get the Season 1 Battle Pass for free. There is no Llama Pass in Llama RPG. Sorry to burst your bubble. Impossible. How about free MTX? There are no MTX to purchase. If you want your character to look cool, you go find cool gear, or you craft cool skins with the materials in game. Will I eventually regret that when Mom RPG costs me way too much money every month and I've got no good source of revenue from it? Yes. <laughs> Not the death That's okay. Ah, oh, crap, I did P8. Will there be ads in Lama RPG? Maybe if we're failing to make anything whatsoever and it's about to shut down. <laughs> Otherwise, no. I will try to avoid ads. Come 
experience boost sponsors. Probably no Super Bowl ad. Don't know what to do with them. You have all the points from those, so now you can make everything. Definitely it needs to be adjusted. Man, it's stolen for hit, lightning thorns. Llama Con exclusive gear. There you go. Do some fun things like that, right? Oh, thank you. Unique ring is a manled. Cowboys all the way today. Cowboys are gonna win 28 to 13. Easy, easy game. A lot cheeky. No, Jolly. Yeah, the medium charm skillers. 1335 Cowboys lose. Get out of here with your trash. Show some respect to your Super Bowl champs. My goodness. Absolutely ridiculous. Look, we had a little trouble with the 49ers. But then the 49ers had trouble and lost to the Browns. It happens. You have a bad week here and there. But this is the year. The Cowboys are ready. I talked to them and they said, we are ready this year. We're done making you feel the way that we've made you feel for the past 20 plus years of your support. And we're sorry. That's their words. See, TG knows. They just have to win, okay? Backup QB Browns, I know, which is which is truly nice, because it's like, man, I love that the Browns got to beat. It was like the perfect thing. The Browns got to beat the Niners. The Jets got to beat the Eagles. Just like hysterical right there because the Eagles were just making fun of the Niners like all before it. So it was really funny. But Watson wasn't even the guy to do it, which made it even better. It wasn't even that piece of garbage. Thanks, BJ. Absolutely lovely. Lions doing ice. Did I do that? 
Wow, you take that back, True Blue. You take that back. Alright, let's summon our paladin to come with us. Yeah, he's got paladin skills. Can you use a morning star at all? Is this your mod thing only used to create your own mods? No, that's the D2R launch. It has some stuff. Remod is, is, is its own mod here. Impossible. I wish I could feed him some gear. It's okay. Look at him go. Get him, baby. Oh my god, this paladin's so bad. <laughs> How's Zahn comparing to Barb? I'd say she's a little bit stronger right now. Ooh, I like that idea, Prime. Leveled as Pally? I have not yet. Concentrated ground is good. This curtain of fire is so good, man. Just gotta land it. try and say he was making the early game a little bit easier since we've all played through it so many times. I, can't. I do not, Georgie. Can they get far open socket if they would in this? Maybe a hurl bat or something would? That'd be my guess. Ooh, a throwing spear probably could as well, to be honest. see if we can use where is the kuko required strength 53 three to archery skills three to curtain of fire five to exploding arrow it's 
52 to strength. Hold up! Small charm of strength! 53 to strength! Let's go! It's Cuckoo time. Also, Razor Tail time. I mean, Madness is actually really nice with the 20 IS, though, and 2 Dispel Power. I don't know if Razor Tail is as good now, actually. Go time. Let's talk to Mala. I don't know if I like this TP shift of where the TP is in Act Five. Yes, all characters can teleport once you kill normal Bale, or hit level 35 and you can use this thing. I can't. Amazon casting frames are, uh, well they are Amazon casting frames. Impossible. They are definitely frames of which you can cast. Just put one into evasive tactics. Oh my god. Jesus! That damage. <laughs> Let's get Valkyries. Probably good on the passives. Yep, I got my hundred souls. That's how I have a paladin who's joined me now. Kind of want to shift to exploding arrow. It feels like the strafe is starting to fall off a little. Dude, having defiled warriors down here is so annoying. Goodbye, Kalenzo. Yeah, the paladin's just like, holy shield. Uh, holy shield. What's another thing I can cast? Holy shield? Perfect. Holy shield. How about holy shield? <laughs>
capture that Uno. He's like a regular mercenary and that he doesn't help much. Yeah, essentially. Barbarian only. One dicey trail and a homing harpoon. Nah, you don't pick up skills. He just probably gets all of them. But I wish he'd pick an aura, even if it's a bad aura. Lord, look at the meteor damage when it hits. Conk. Chonk. <laughs> That's My amazing. Is truly done. Hey, six thousand kills. Let's go. Some tips for new players of the mod. I mean, just have fun. Respec often. Try out different things, you know? Like, oh, I want to go try out... Like, I'll probably try out Freezing Arrow pretty soon. You know? Check out what's going on with uh, Thunder God's Wrath. Just, like, try the stuff, because it's all new. It's all fun. Some things work. Some things don't work very well. But you can always give, you know, feedback of what's working and not working. Three to javelin skills. Unfortunate. Durial shell would be nice. 65 strength, almost there. So we can do that. Not quite high enough level for the ravens yet. That's actually a, not a bad one with the reduced cooldown. I actually kind of want to get cooldown reduction stuff going here soon. Level 62 required on that. So let's let's move some cooldown reduction over. over there.
save some Barbies. Paladin's pretty fun. I've had a, a blast with this Amazon. She's been really dope. Um, That will destroy. I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. I can't use that. You don't use that in your offhand? I guess we can give him rings. Ring. I can't use that yet. Really? I can't use that yet. Oh, level 41. Now let's go save Kane. And murder some cows. Don't like the skins of some of the items. Understandable. Where's the tree at? What a strange looking tree. Okay. You get them out using go talk to Adiram, this guy over here, and get rune remover, and then you can remove them from that. I could have sworn I killed Rakanishu. Guys, where did the where did the stones go? Where were they? Oh my god. So sneaky. So sneaky. All right, <clears throat> cow time. Let's see it. Bye, cows. Honestly, just my exploding arrow damage is enough to murder them. Uh, 
Oh, that's actually really nice. It has 15 dexterity on top of that. That's cool. I can't. It has more stuff. L tier. Nice way to pick up some extra. Dexterity. Yeah, I was I was expecting us to need more reliance on the whatever you call it, but no way. To remove sockets, you need essentially a token of absolution. Or remove items from sockets. Okay. Saigons. I don't think there's any way for that, but you can change it to show icons instead, so then that's what you're seeing. And then it'll show like gem icons and whatever when, when it shows on the ground. This looks really easy. It's definitely easier for, for the earlier part. Also, so perfect for cows. Oh, five sockets is fine. You put a jewel in the first socket, and then you make the rune word beyond that. mercenary so like here's an example here's my grief but it's in a six open socket phase blade so I put the jewel in the first socket or however many initial sockets it has to be in the front of it and then the rune word beyond that This one was just a 31 ED jewel. So then you get the jewel stats as well. Yeah, it's a really nice way to add jewels and make jewels, you know, a little more valuable in that way. To remove the, the runes without losing them, you need 10 tokens of absolution. All right, guys. It is data clock. Amazon through normal crushed it. Wow. That bow is on. That fire strafe and the curtain meteor thing is insane. <laughs>